Hello guys, welcome to Take Me Devoted. In this video, we will uh, write a Java program to ch uh, check for desirium number. So, uh, we will write a Java program uh, to check whether a given number is desirium number or not. Check pronunciation for desirium if I am wrong. Okay, so let's start. Here is my Eclipse ID, and uh, here I have written code. Uh, sorry, class name is uh, check desirium number. So, we will write here code. So first we should know what is Dizerium number. So a number will be called Dizerium number if some of its digits powered with their respective position is equal to the uh, original number. Suppose we have a number like 135 and if it is Dizerium then see you. 1 is at position 1, 3 at 2, 5 at 3. So 1 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power sorry it is 3 right 1 3 5 3 to the power 2 because it is at position 2 and 5 power 5 to the power 3 because it is at position 3 so it should be 135 uh, let's calculate it 1 to the power 1 is 1 plus 3 to the power 2 is 9 plus 5 to the power 3 is 125 so if we sum it uh, 1 plus 9 plus 125 we will get 135 so this 135 equal to our original number so 135 is a desirium number okay suppose we have number 121 so if we power here 1 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 is 4 plus 1 to the power 3 1 so it is not equal to 121 because this is 6 so this is not desirium number so i hope you understand what is desirium number so let's uh, write a code for this to check whether a given number is desirium or not so uh, let's write one method for that so uh, let's write public static int check desirium check desirium okay and it will take argument int n now here we will so how to do that what is the procedure first we need to find out that uh, we have to extract the digit obviously then we have to uh, do the summation so we can take one two variable like in digit which is zero now and uh, let's say in summation okay is this zero okay now now what we will do so first what we will do here this is uh, integer right so let's first convert this in a string okay so what we will write a string uh, sorry a string s is equal to how to do that integer dot to string to string here it is to string what n okay why we have done this to calculate length of this so we will can calculate to int length is equal to then s dot length okay now now what we will do we will write the logic for to calculate this so first uh, we will check whether this is greater than zero or not okay if it is greater than, than zero then this loop execute now here what we will find we will find we will extract last digit okay so how to do that we have done this several times so percentile 10 so we uh, digit okay so we got the uh, digit now what we will do we will do the write the summation so how to do that this also we have done several time in previous tutorial like summation plus what we here what we have to do we have to write a um, math class 
use the math class function as math dot power okay now here what we have to do we have to write digit and uh, here the uh, position okay position is suppose length okay so it is like that now what i have to do see we have to cast it to int okay so we have done this okay now now what we will do see this is length okay length is the uh, length of this uh, uh, number if number is 135 then length will be 3 we have uh, do we have done this to a string then we have calculated the length now what we have to do we have to uh, decrement length each time okay length minus minus okay so if first length uh, because this last digit has been extracted so suppose our number is 135 so 5 will be the digit okay then 5 uh, position is the length of that uh, integer so length is 3 so 5 to the power 3 then we will decrement length so 3 to the power 2 this uh, this way we will do this now what we have to do we have to divide the number okay so done so what we will return here because we are returning int value so here we will return the summation return return summation that's it okay now just we need to call here <coughs> So let's let's uh, uh, let's take a input from uh, user and then do that. Uh, we will call. So let's take buffer reader. Okay, buffer reader. We are in this also we have done in previous tutorials. So new new buffer reader okay now we have to pass uh, sorry new input stream new input stream reader okay sorry input stream reader and uh, we took another constructor so here we have to pass system dot i okay so we have done okay now now let's print some value it will prompt user to enter a number so enter number okay now we have to capture this okay let's int number is equal to what we will uh, do in uh, how to do that integer dot percent okay so integer dot we have parse int we have to pass this value uh, what is the value br dot read line okay br dot read line so in this way uh, this number contain uh, whatever the user uh, put the value for this so here it will throw exception uh, we have to either handle it drag catch or we have to throw declaration so here we have on the declaration either number format exception or io exception so this is done now we have to call the mm, this method we have to call this method okay let's call this and it will take argument in argument so we will pass number here okay now it will return integer value here it is returning summation so we will store in one int variable let int sum is equal to this now now we will put one condition if this sum which uh, is returned by our method is equal to this number okay this number uh, this one then the original number will be what does the rem number so we will print here so what is our number number is a diazerium number okay the diazerium number 
else else we'll write this out uh, number is not diagram okay so finally we have done let's format it so it looks better so we have done the coding let's run this okay and check so here it is asking enter a number i enter 135 which i have given the example initially so 135 is a diagram number we know this we have already calculated it so let's take another number like 89 89 is a diagram number let's some example which is not diagram like 1 to 4 1 to 4 is not diagram okay uh, so what others are like uh, others number like 175 is also diagram if we we can check 175 is also diagram number if we'll check another diagram like 518 it is also diagram we'll check another which is not diagram like something like 192 is not diagram so in this way we have uh, checked how to uh, check a num given number a diagram number or not hope this is helpful thanks for watching